hey guys what is up we're back with another week of blue lock we are so close to season one being over and i'm gonna be sad because i haven't felt this way about a sports anime in quite a while okay okay i just hope there is a season two and with how the sales are going for the manga i have a good feeling right so from last week's episode they concluded with the match between team white and team red team white which consists of isagi nagi and uh baro they won okay they were complete menaces on that side versus team red who all was working together a lot more better okay they they acted like a team but um devouring each other was the whole point and to show your true essence of being uh egoist prevailed at the end with uh borrows uh landing that last goal because he is king of the court okay he didn't want to lose that so they won and like i said it in episode 18 i'm scared because i do like the characters on team red's team you know so the fact that they can only choose one individual it means the other two will be sent back and then obviously because it's from the perspective of isagi we don't know when we'll see those characters again or if they will ever appear again right uh because remember they have to face other people as well to get through the stages of the second selection so um yeah we'll see who they choose in this week's episode or not choose i don't know i'm scared okay so let's get into blue lock episode 19. Yeah. Number. Oh, he want Kunigami. Yeah, he was holding Maro. <laughs> of course, Nagi was going to pick uh, Rayo. Like. So Ray will be a suicidal act. So it's not the balance of the team, it's the chemical reaction who just draws out the best in each other. Hey, yo, what's up with the language in this series? Devout, bro. What's up with the, bro? They're really going to pick, she, I. I figured they were going to pick Chigari, man. Oof. Yeah, they do need someone best. Dang. I... <sighs> Why you gotta do this to Kuni Gami of all people, man? Yeah, this is <laughs> the breakup is gonna last a little longer, man. Dang. I mean you're I mean you're in a program that's only one of you can win. Oh. 
Thank you for saving me, Aggie. Oh, wow. The one who choose, not the one waiting to be chosen. Yeah, he been hanging on to Nagi and he's not growing himself. Dang. Hey, yeah, they're moving back to the second stage. This hurts. I didn't want, I don't want Kuna Gami. Oh, man. And the opening just had to play. Dancing boy. Mm. Hold up. Oh, young Bachira. So his mom encouraged the monster in him? Win for mom. Win for mom. She encouraged. <laughs> oh. If <laughs> we have a, <laughs> this is gonna be one weird team. Chigri, stop stop ignoring Soggy. Oh my god. The mom is getting on everybody. I mean, y'all purposely chose she got you, so you, you already know. You know, in a way, I'm kind of glad Baro's on the team because picking up some people's slack when it comes to, like, hygiene. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's soggy. Is a menace on the field. Oh, he at least apologized. But you called him a donkey first. Self-awareness. I love self-awareness, man. Yo. <laughs>
If you're thinking of villain, oh wow. <laughs> I have a feeling like with Asagi's character, he could if they all went to the same school, they would have all they would have all been friends. Oh God, Nagi. I just love how everybody's just getting along with each other. <laughs> and then when they get on the field, it's like, I don't know you. <laughs> Nope. Wait, hold on. Y'all were playing soccer with shoes in the room? And I feel you, Borrow. I feel you. Oh, you, you messing with the wrong one, Ren. Oh. What? So you mean all this time about your... Oh, dang. I ain't gonna say he got girls here. Oh, oh! Oh! We love supportive moms, man. I love supportive moms. And she's a painter too. Oh. 
also mom got a monster in her too that she listens to. She encouraged that. The best mom in anime. I don't care what nobody says. He's just in his own head at this point. I just like how his mom is narrating his past. <laughs> Mm. he's waiting for someone to have that monster just like him and correspondence to his monster his mom oh my god i love his mom oh he they say come reach me I y'all I remember this moment in episode one. He was taking a nap when all of this was going down. Oh. I remember that moment perfectly well. <laughs> And that's when he found his soggy. He 
सकते हैं Like we all thought when Kira was going to still be in the show and he instantly got out by episode 2. Yeah, the other monster is Asagi. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He found his best friend. You're not very helpful, Ren. Oh, my boy was waiting. He was waiting for him. Oh, so next episode, okay. 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 <laughs> mm. So just like that and the way they did the episode, Chigari was picked and poor Kungami and Rayo were sent back to the third stage of the second selection. So they have to go back again and now face another team, which I doubt they're going to show in the show because it's going to probably be players that we don't necessarily care about. And if they don't beat them, then they get sent home. Like I said, I, I love Kunigami, but as much as what Nagi said to Rayo was harsh, it was truthful because I didn't say it in the reaction, but they all went into Blue Lock and knew that even if you was to go in together saying, we're going to be the best in the world of soccer, only one person out of selection of a total of 300 people will be picked. So even if Nagi and Rayo went in together, one of them would have to get eliminated. One of them would have to get eliminated. One of them was going to have to keep the dream. The one that gets eliminated won't be able to play soccer with the Japanese official uh, soccer team, you know, the national team of Japan. So Rayo needs to realize that and understand that as much as he and Nagi both want to play soccer. We see where Nagi is taking this very seriously. He's making a path of his own for his own self, okay? Rayo needs to separate himself from Nagi and realize why are you here? It has to be more than just, I want to play with you on the same field and on the same team. You know, what is your purpose being here? And I know they uh, kind of told that when they first introduced his character several episodes ago, because his parents want him to, you know, become the head of the family business and everything. And he's like, he wants to find his own path. I think he needs to go back to that and clarify it even more, understand it more. 
and make his own path separate from Nagi's. Like they both have the same dream. Everyone in the in the series has the same dream, but he has to identify his own reasons. That's completely separate from Nagi. Okay, and our hero Kumigami, I we obviously know he's frustrated, so I don't know if he's gonna show up again. But I do want them to be able to move forward. Uh, in regards to Bashir, we saw more of this monster, and I love the fact that his mom understands where Meguru is. Like I said, she is best mom of anime. I don't care what other mom from other shows you guys got. Meguru's mom is best mom because she encouraged his creativity, his individuality, his passion, okay? She's a painter. And in other words, their monster is your intuition, that gut feeling you have. Okay, that, that burning feeling you have towards something that you, again, are passionate about and you keep going towards it despite all the obstacles you may face, especially as she mentioned, you growing up and because of societal values and like what real life has to play on it, it starts to dwindle. That fire that was so big when you were a kid, uh, all those paths are kind of narrowing the older you get. Um, the best thing I can remember that you guys will have to understand if you, if you ever you know how tsunami always used to have these messages and there was this one particular message about dreams okay if you guys can watch it on youtube the uh, tom perfectly summed it up okay the older you get the more your paths towards your dreams or anything starts with the window and becomes a little bit more narrow but you shouldn't give that up if you are truly passionate about something, which Bachiro's mother did, and I think every parent should do, is encourage your child. Tell them to listen to themselves or their inner little monster and find that path that they want to go on despite all the obstacles. And eventually, possibly one day, they may be able to succeed in it, you know? And for Bachiro, him being so passionate about soccer and to find out there was not a lot of people who understood his passion and were ridiculous from him, but he never, he never listened to them. He stuck to his guns. He listened to himself. And eventually he found someone who was just like him, AKA Isagi. And even though he can't understand Rin, cause Rin looks like the type of person that will never talk about himself that much. He understands that Rin too has that monster, which he has yet to understand. So, um, guys, you tell me how you felt about this week's episode of Blue Lock. Uh, it looks like uh, the next match is going to be between Asagi's team and Rin's team next episode, or if not, the following episode, okay? The links are in the description box, so you guys can go check that out. And I'm Kimi Chan of Anime Legends, and I will see you guys later. Bye! We'll